Hi guys, Jamie from Boxing Life, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the RDX F7 boxing gloves. Stay tuned. So before I get into the boxing glove itself, I guess just a little bit of background on RDX. So they're a British sports combat company and they create a whole range of different kind of equipment for, for mainly Muay Thai, boxing, MMA, and also just general fitness as well. Um, I'll leave a link uh, in the description below so you can check that out um, and see some of their other kind of gloves and stuff as well. So in the case of this glove, it's the RDX F7. This is kind of a beginner glove, I guess, I would, I would have to say. And when you look at the price online, you know, you'd think you're just going to be getting one of your standard kind of cheap gloves, which to one extent it is, but at the same time it's not. It actually has a lot of valuable features to it. And yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So in terms of the, the glove itself, I was actually really surprised by the quality of it, the, considering how much I spent on it. Um, and for that reason, I think RDX have done a tremendous job. It's got some really nice double stitching. I'll give you a closer look in a sec, but yeah, it's just been kind of really well done in terms of the stitching and overall around the glove. So that, that's definitely a, an aspect I like about it. So in terms of like the materials, just to start off, um, it's definitely a synthetic kind of leather and you can, you know, just from the, the feel of it, you can tell. Um, doesn't have an odor or anything like that. Type, you know, it's definitely a synthetic leather, and but it, is, it feels quite tough. It does kind of come up at the top, as you can see when I do this. It can kind of come up, but um, apart from that, yeah, it's kind of been stitched onto the glove pretty well. Another thing is just the padding around the whole palm and the glove itself. It's a kind of hybrid glove. You can use it for all types of mixed martial arts and boxing. So. You know, it's a bit of a mix um, in terms of how the weight is distributed. So let's say you ha you're having to parry kicks or punches, you know, it's kind of padded on the palm, for example. But I'll give you a closer look in a sec at that. In terms of the actual padding on the top in the strike area, that's really important in terms of when you're actually striking on things like the heavy bag or if you're going to be sparring with it or whatever. And then the, obviously the other feature to do with this is, of course, the velcro strap as you can see it's quite thin compared to some other kind of boxing gloves out there it's probably one of the probably one of my big criticisms about the glove other than that i think they've done a really good job rdx in terms of developing this but the velcro strap is definitely just a little bit too thin for me i always quite like a bigger velcro strap um but as long as you just wrap your hands around your wrist quite tight you're not really going to notice it too much. Other than that, it's really compact within the glove itself. So your hand, it, it definitely feels protected. Like I was mentioning about that padding, as you can see, it does wrap around quite good. Um, it's just the, the bulk of it. These are 14 ounce as well. So I think that's quite a good, decent size. If you're getting these, I'm around six foot and um, 175 pounds. So you know, if you're smaller, you might just want to get these maybe a 12 ounce maybe. So I guess one thing is, you know, like it can, you know, if you want to make this really tight, it can kind of flip over a little bit, uh, but it's just a real minor thing when using the glove. So the other thing about the strap, it's called the F7 Ultimate Grip. Is it the Ultimate Grip? I guess, you know, if you really tighten it it is a little bit but i wouldn't call it ultimate there's definitely better gloves out there with a stronger strap in my opinion in terms of visuals for this there's lots of different versions it comes in things like you know pink green blue and it's all this kind of same design feature i think i have seen some slightly different like gray and gold version which looks quite cool so yeah you might want to check that one out instead and um, i'll leave a description below to amazon so you can check out all the different color options and also RDX's website too. So now let's just have a bit of a closer look up at the glove just so you can kind of see some of the finer detail of it um, and just kind of give you a better idea. So here's a bit of a closer look up at the glove and as you can see um, 
the padding is actually quite good. Uh, it's a gel padding. For those that are wondering, it's triple sheet. It's got three layers of padding here. So as you can see, it's quite, it's quite dense to push down on it, which is a good thing. Your hand definitely feels protected. And that kind of padding's all around the front, as you can see. Uh, just have a look at it there. And then just in terms of the design, it's kind of got this dripping kind of paint look effect. Uh, with the kind of stripes and obviously the RDX brand here the, and also on the velcro hook and loop strap here uh, R you can see the F7R branding there And as you can see the thumb here uh, is nice and spongy Thumb definitely feels protected and it feels very comfortable with my thumb. I've got quite big hands as well So this glove is actually quite good for that and it's got the attachment between the, the striking area and the thumb here just to attach the glove. It's not much move, you can't really move it about that much, but still good enough. Um, I quite like some of the detail on this. It's got some really good double stitching as you can see here. It's really good and there's kind of enough of a gap here. It's kind of got this um, strap to kind of keep it tight and and there's a little bit of ventilation you can get in there. <clears throat> I got these in 14 ounce and it's on the grip bar here. It's just a kind of typical spongy kind of foam which you get in a lot of the cheaper gloves. And it's got these kind of ventilation holes as you can see here and also in the inside of the glove account. I don't know if you can see a couple in there. So I, I, I don't really pay too much attention to the ventilation holes. I think it will help a little bit but I think as I mentioned, the kind of material that they've used for this glove, it's probably worth just making sure you open them out after use or get a deodorizer to put in them. But yeah, overall the stitching I think is really good, especially just for the cost. It's They've done a really good job. And let's just give you a look at the strap, the vel actual Velcro strap, which is kind of maybe my main criticism of the glove. As you can see, it's quite thin, uh, but it still is pretty solid. It's quite, you know, it goes around the whole arch of the glove here, so and you can see kind of some the leather's kind of stained clearly from the, the strapping and some areas of the glove, so that might annoy some people. It's not the end of the world, but it's, it's not nice that the dye's kind of going onto the white, but I guess if you get kind of a darker glove, that probably won't come up. It's probably just because it's white. But let's have a look at the velcro strap and then it's got kind of some of the branding and stuff in here handmade premium quality and i have to admit i have to agree with it um quality approved high breathability performance gear and what does this say membrane grid i don't know what that means but the padding is really like obviously this is a dual purpose glove so it can be used for kind of kickboxing or Muay Thai as well so that's probably you know the padding on this glove just feels great I have to admit that's one of the things I really like about it just feels very protected and then if you just look in the inside it's kind of got the warning sign there and then it's kind of this kind of weird nylon material um, and it's all within the glove due to this kind of really dense padding throughout the whole thing and it does feel really, it feels really soft and nice to wear. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a really nice glove. Your hand does get a bit hot in it, I have to admit. I know it says about the breathability, but because of that kind of gel padding, spongy kind of material that they've used throughout the whole glove, you know, it's you can see it everywhere. It's in the, the thumb, obviously the strike area, and then even in the padding here. Well, you know, it does just feel kind of secure and, you know, some people like that, but yeah, I think overall RDX, um, I've done a good job in terms of crafting it. Definitely well-made glove considering the cost and that's a big bonus for me. In terms of the colors, I kind of mentioned before, you can get these in lots of variations and I think I quite like the red and white. It was kind of what was the one that kind of drew my attention. 
good mix of the colors and then just have another look at the strike area here as well uh, it's kind of got these dots isn't it <laughs> like in terms of where you should be striking maybe i don't know what their kind of the, the purpose was that but you kind of want to be striking here anyway when you're using the heavy bag or sparring or whatnot but yep they've done a good job um some little faults to it you know like the staining obviously and the quite thin velcro strap but yep a good glove for can a really good glove considering the cost before i finish up i think it's probably best just to go over some of the pros and cons of this um just before you make a decision with if, if it's worth it for you and i think one of the best things is probably just the, the the overall padding and distribution around the whole glove your hand feels very protected especially for a beginner glove i think that's great in terms of the actual padding when striking once again you know your hand feels very protected with that kind of strong base padding on the on the strike area of the glove so uh, the other thing it's just it's a very comfortable glove to wear i find especially you know considering it's slightly cheaper and then that leads on to my other point you know it's for a beginner glove this is really cheap um, and it's good quality it's a great secondary glove as well but you know you can do all types of training with this which makes it a really good beginner glove to go with and you're not going to be out of pocket spending your money on something like this from what i've seen online it's around probably in the uk 30 pounds north america it's about 40 dollars 50 dollars between that kind of region so another kind of positive feature about this boxing glove and then finally i guess the last point is just you know the actual wrapping <laughs> Um, it is good. I think it is secure. Uh, it could be a bit tighter for me, but it's, it, it, it does the job, especially for a beginner glove. And that's what makes definitely the pros. In terms of the negatives for this glove, obviously the main one, and I kind of talked about this at the start, was that kind of synthetic leather. It's not the, it's not the greatest. It kind of, I can tell that it's kind of going to wear over time. Um, and even some of like the print of, from the color, the reddening has like died onto the leather as well, which, you know, isn't the best, but maybe that's just because it's a white kind of synthetic. The other thing as well, like, I don't know, some people might not like this kind of like graphic design. I don't mind it so much. I think it actually looks quite cool, but I know some people think it looks a bit tacky with this kind of drip, like paint kind of feature coming off the back. But I quite like the strike zone area, as I showed you before in the close up. And then finally, I guess you can get better gloves out there. You know, you can spend an extra, you know, you can spend an extra bit and probably get a better glove than this. However, if you're just trying out new gloves at the moment and wanting to test them out, this is a good option to go with. So really appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.